Hey everyone, Anthony Cumia. I'm going to attempt this uh, Kerbal Space Program launch and landing on Duna. Duna is uh, kind of the Mars planet of uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, here's my ship. This is the lander. Now it looks a little weird. It'll be explained later when I finally uh, deploy everything why these rockets are on the side and stuff. But um, it's a pretty good gizmo that I figured out, and hopefully it works. Uh, but we'll go to the uh, launch pad and uh, try to launch this uh, giant butt plug <laughs> uh, up into space. Here we go. At the pad, let's take off. There we go. It's a slow launch. It's a heavy ship. Uh, but it's going. Very important is the stability. You'll notice it's not wagging back and forth. It's not uh, flailing like a big rubber uh, dildo sometimes it looks like. But not this one. But one thing I uh, did wrong... I ejected my rockets while I was turning and they collided with <laughs> my uh, main, the main part of my rocket and there it was. So back to F9, thank God, we start over and launch again. Now we're talking. Nice straight launch. Fast motion again. Lean it over. We go into a gravity turn. Uh, start our uh, entry into orbit around the planet. As you can see here, that blue arc that's what'll happen if you just stop the engines and do nothing at that point. You'll go up, you'll apogee at that mark, and then crash back into the planet. So what you need to do is uh, make a maneuver and burn it until it ends up being what we mark out here. So you could see, if we left it alone, we'd crash right back into the planet. But we can set up a maneuver, burn, and end up on that trajectory, the dotted line we just pulled out. So that's what we're doing right now. Now I gotta jettison the fairing so I could use my retros to put us in the right, uh, right trajectory. And here we go. Let's burn. There it is. We start our burn. You can see it counting down on the right there of the uh, the circle at the bottom. That's how long we need to burn. We'll go fast motion. There we go. And we'll cut. And there we go. We've done our uh, orbit burn. And if we look... We're in a nice uh, orbit, but we got to stretch out the other side now to equal the orbit out. So we'll go here. We'll pull these out. And you can see the altitude. And we pull it out until we have a relatively round orbit. Now we got to burn again. There we go. And what this will do is pull out that other side of the orbit so we have a round uh, orbit around Kerbal or Earth, whatever you want to call it. There it is. Now we take a look and you'll see it's very circular around the planet. Now once we do this, we could look at the planet we want to get to, which is Duna, which is way out here, this red planet. And uh, we target it. And this lets the computer know that that's what we want to go for. 
is Duna. Now, in order to get there, we're going to have to do a maneuver and another burn. So, what we want to do is make a maneuver which puts us on the same path as Kerbal's orbit. So, we all of a sudden are orbiting around the sun. So, we'll straighten it out. You see, it's it's in a straight line around uh, the orbit that the planet Kerbal is on around the sun. And then we'll slowly spiral it in to Duna's orbit. Because the first thing you really got to do is get out of the orbit of the planet you're on. Because that's not going to help you. It's a little circle around that dumb planet. We need to go a lot further. So there we go. Now if we uh, zoom out and we take a look at where we are um, in perspective to the entire solar system, you'll see that we're in a, a pretty good uh, circular orbit around the sun. And then, there we go. We're doing our burn now. And then we can slowly spiral into Duna. But it takes a lot of fuel. That's the problem. The whole deal with this stupid game is fuel. Everything takes a shitload of fuel. There we go. Say bye-bye to that stage. So there we go. That's uh, what's left of our ship. Right now, still doing pretty good. And almost done with our burn. Uh, this one should get us relatively close to Duna. There it is. Cut that burn off. And let's take a look. Now we go out and we'll see there's our trajectory uh, Juna is out a little further than our orbit is but you can see those little triangles with the line through them that's going to show you how far we are from our encounter with the planet and now we got a fiddle fiddle a lot of fiddling with the nodes, which is all those little arms uh, that are on those circles right here. So we're pulling and pushing these and moving our perspective orbit. And bam, right there you'll see we have an encounter. That's when our two orbits, the orbit we have made and the orbit of Duna, come together. And once you do that, you could focus in on Duna. And what you'll see is now another little line of where we will be passing by Duna if we just left things the way they were. But we don't want to because, as you see, we, we just pass it. That's not good. So we'll fiddle around a little more with those arms and work out uh, how close we can get to uh, Duna when we finally do our burn. There we go. See, up, down. We got a fiddle. Is that good? No. Come up. Now in a little more. Then you notice when you come in closer to the planet, uh, that straight line's going to curve with the gravity of the planet and let you know that uh, that's what you need to burn at to get into orbit around that planet. It's, it's really a, a bitch. When you first start playing this game, this is the biggest pain in the ass. Trying to figure out, look at that. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, oh, I'm way down here. So now you gotta 
click up and then go. It's constantly fiddling and trying to figure out uh, where that line is that you're going to have to uh, get to when you, when you make that burn. So here it is. That's pretty good. So we'll give it a burn. Hopefully we end up uh, pretty close to uh, that line. Fast motion again. No need to sit through the whole thing. Oh, here we go. This now is important. Now we get rid of that stage. And here are the four rockets that I was hoping to not use until we were in orbit to slow down. But again, I screwed up so bad on the fuel uh, consumption here that I'm now using these four rockets that I was hoping to just use to slow down um, and break our orbit in Duna. But I had to use those, so here we go. I didn't get as close as I thought I would that burn so we're out a little further than I thought but we're gonna make another maneuver and try to get that orbit and there it is there's our orbit around Duna uh, the unfortunate thing is it's gonna cost a lot of fuel to do this uh, but I don't care <laughs> at this point I'm, I'm just going through the motions <laughs> so here's our orbit um, we're going to do a burn now. Again, I wish I didn't have to do that with those. But you'll see this blue line. As we burn, you'll see the line move. Um, and this is what our trajectory is at any given moment during the burn. So if we stop the burn right now, we're going to fly around the planet and shoot off the other side and go straight. Uh, until it wraps around into an orbit, uh, we would just fling ourselves away from the planet. But there it is. Now here's the fun part. We're not quite done yet. We're going to get rid of these four engines. And now using the robotics and the hinges, I'm going to fold these four tanks out and click them in to the uh, hatches, to the docking hatches. Now to lock them in, there it goes. I'm going to blow the uh, radial explosives on the hinges. And now what that did was lock in uh, those hatches. So now the fuel can pass through. It's sturdy, and I can now use those rockets, those four rockets, to drive us. Uh, but I didn't have to worry that so much was sticking out of the sides during launch. I waited till, obviously now, uh, until I folded those out. So the robotic thing is pretty interesting and, and fun to do with these... Uh, with these rockets. So here we go. We got a huge base now to land with. Uh, and we're coming down to the surface of Duna right now. All right, we'll, we'll fire the rockets and try to slow down a bit. Obviously, we're, we're over a thousand. Um, meters per second so we want to slow that down and as we come through the clouds I have the parachute set at 5,000 feet there is a bit of an atmosphere on Duna like there is on Mars so the chutes will work to a point so they slow us down a bit and with the rockets I'll slow down uh, even more we're trying to get down to the surface at about five meters per second. 
and that'll give us a safe landing here we go a little fast motion but again you see the how wide the landing uh, gear are and this couldn't have been done without using that robotic uh, hinge uh, you could see we're kind of weaving back and forth I probably should have shut off um, the guidance but as we hit the ground it doesn't matter we bounce a little we're on a, a crazy angle but it doesn't move because we have such a wide base and uh, that's only because we use that robotic hinge and uh, these tanks and uh, the extended landing gear but again I screw up <laughs> first thing I want to do here is uh, get all the fuel from those uh, tanks on the landing gear and put them into the main tank that I'm going to be using to take back off with and we fill that tank up now those other tanks are empty now we also have to get our uh, engineer out there and repack our chutes there we go because we're gonna to have to land again on uh, Kerbal now we're gonna do our science all of our science experiments and we get a hell of a lot of science points here and those are all ready to go uh, but they're useless unless we get back to Kerbal with them uh, I'm looking here I don't have a lot of fuel left now what I want to do and I screw this up royally is jettison these four tanks and landing gear and then take off with the center part of the rocket and I screw up look I took off with what little fuel was left in those rockets but again thank God for the wide base it's set right back down now I still don't know what I'm doing so I try to jettison those four tanks but I wind up jettisoning the legs in the middle which makes a big explosion I get all flustered and I pop the capsule off the top thus stranding everyone on this planet watch as the fun happens and then thank God again for F9 but here I choke I hit the um, those center four landing gear which explode immediately I don't know what I was thinking I thought I, it was the ignition see there it goes now I get rid of those tanks and now everything starts falling over so I just jettison the the capsule and now everything falls over <laughs> and we have to write letters to uh, the astronauts families let's F9 and we'll try again we take off we get rid of the tanks we blow our landing gear and we're on a trajectory straight up away from Duna that's how it's supposed to be done but again unfortunately I screw up uh, royally I don't have enough fuel and whatever fuel I do have that I might have made it back to Kerbal with I screw that up because at 15,000 meters we are still well within Duna's atmosphere and I start burning up in the atmosphere which uh, won't burn the ship up but the fact is it uses up so much fuel to try to push through that uh, Duna atmosphere you'll see uh, the fire the heat around the ship uh, this is using up so much fuel and uh, I screwed up really badly there so I'm trying to just get an orbit around Kerbal where I'm not falling back into the planet which again costs so much fuel so there we go I've got a, a legitimate orbit uh, there we are see pretty round 
I'm not going to fall in, but there we are, and we have a sliver of fuel left. So what I'm going to try to do now is set up a maneuver to get into a solar orbit so I can make it back to Kerbal and perhaps land. Uh, but I know I just don't have enough fuel. So we'll set up a, a maneuver over here and try to sling it in the same line like we did when we were trying to get to Duna. Um, just set it up where it puts me on a straight angle uh, of the same orbit as the planet. But I don't think that helps. Because <laughs> all that will do is get me stranded in a orbit around the sun. <laughs> and uh, there we go. A little fast motion. We put out our panel so at least we have some power. Watch some TV. Whatever uh, the guy's got to do. But there we go. Now we'll take a look. And uh, there we are. We're, we're in a solar orbit around the sun. Uh, but there's nothing really else to do but burn up the rest of my fuel and be stranded in space. I'll try to rescue these guys at some later juncture. You can watch. Until then, have a great, uh, a great time in outer space. Bye.